Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna have another Jetson Bolt Pro video upgrade. Okay, we're upgrading the tires. The stock is 2.125. Yes, 2.125. And we're gonna replace it with a 2.5 set of tires. So I already changed the rear. That's that's already 2.5. See the difference? And that's still stock 2.125. Changing the front tire is easier than the back. You will need a size 18. The front, the the rear is size 19. That's why. No surprise, they have different sizes. So keep in mind the sequence of the spacer and the nut. One side. Other side. And let's see. Yeah, it's easy. Let's put this away. Okay. For the tire, we need this four way tool to remove or deflate the tire. Remove the air and deflate. Counterclockwise. Try to remove the actual rubber rubber from the rim. You need a tool like this, made of plastic or flathead screwdrivers. Just be careful the flathead screwdrivers will scratch your your wheels okay let's take the tire off Like I said, it's easier, but it will scratch your wheel. Or your rim. There you go. There. Try forcing the other side. Yep, easy. We're not gonna use that anymore. Should be our new tire. Uh, where's the size? There we go.
Okay. One side is done. Push. Let's use this. Easy. Why did I do that? Okay, so before you put the other side of the tire, you need to put your interior tire or uh, interior rubber, but make sure you before you put it inside, put some slime premium sealant. Also consider the orientation of the air valve. Should be pointing away from your disc brake. Okay, it's in. It's in, it's in. Now, close it up. not to puncture your inner tube yes. Hi right, guys, so this is the finished product of my Jetson Bolt Pro with a wider tire upgrade. Stock is 14 by 2.125. 14 by 2.125. Upgraded to 14 by 2.5. So you will need a fourth uh, similar inner tube 14 by 2.5 make sure at the back you need the uh, bent um, uh, air valve because of the motor so with the slightly wider tire 2.5 I think this is the biggest that you can go without modification to your uh, brake lines some people are going with a even bigger 3.0 14 by by 3 but you need to remove this hanger brake line hanger otherwise it's not gonna fit it's gonna rub so look at the space for the 14 by 2.5 so I tested it but I did not check the speed but I noticed that I am slower than use uh, with the 14 by 2.125 so I did a speed hack on mine I was running around 16 16 using the stock tires and with the wider tire 
without testing it, uh, I think it's around uh, 14. So, so I'm slower with the wider tire, but the ride is smoother, especially on uh, surfaces uh, like this on the road okay, and other imperfections. Anyway, so see the difference? Stock and wider tire. So that's it guys. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe and thanks for watching.